Today I'm gonna to be talking about the top 10 most common operations performed in the United States every year. I think this is a really interesting topic because I'm a pediatric surgeon, I do a lot of appendectomies, and appendectomy didn't even come close to the top. And towards the end, I'm gonna give you the one set of operations that cost the most in our healthcare system. What do you think is the number 13 of the top, I was gonna make it a top 10, but I made it top 13 just to get this one in there. So what is it? Appendectomy. So how many appendectomies are performed every year in the United States? Quarter million appendectomies, and we're taking that out for appendicitis. Okay, so what is number 12? Well, number 12, is an important one, and that is cesarean section. So cesarean section, if babies are not able to be delivered safely by vaginal delivery, cesarean section is performed, and there are about 300,000 cesarean sections performed every year in the United States. All right, so that's number 12. Let's bump it up to number 11. So number 11 is hip replacement. So orthopedic surgery is seen a number of advancements over the years, both in material science, but also surgical approach with minimally invasive approaches for hip replacement. And there are about 330,000 hip replacements performed every year in the United States. All right, so getting into the top 10. So number 10, this procedure is both diagnostic and therapeutic, and that is cystoscopy and bladder biopsy. So cystoscopy, usually indicated for a mass in the bladder, blood in the urine, that's performed. Not only can they get a good image of that mass, but we can take biopsies of it, find out exactly what it is. So that's number 10, and we're doing about a half a million of those every year in the United States. Number nine is really a tie in number 10, and that is tonsils and adenoids. So children and even adults in some cases that have really large tonsils and adenoids causing pain, obstruction, difficulty with the airway, have those resected. And there are a half a million of those operations every year in our country. It's actually a four-way tie for number 10, but we're gonna call this number eight. And 500,000 of these are done every year in the United States, and that is hysterectomy, or removal of the uterus. Now, there are a lot of different indications for this. I'll put some links at the American College of Obstetrics Gynecology down in the description. You can check that out, learn more about it. But a half a million hysterectomies are performed every year in the United States. Okay, so who gets that fourth place tie? Well, the fourth place tie goes to a procedure that I do with relative frequency in kids, and there's much higher frequency in adults, and that is cholecystectomy. So removal of the gallbladder, another half a million of those operations done approximately, okay, every year in the United States, and that's done for a number of reasons. It could be symptomatic gallstones, so gallstones that are causing pain, or it could be complications of those gallstones, something like acute cholecystitis or even acute biliary pancreatitis. I just put out a bunch of great videos on gallstones, cholecystitis, pancreatitis. Check those out if you're interested in diving a little deeper into cholecystectomy. All right, now we're starting to bump up the numbers just a little bit with 600,000 of these performed every year in the US, and that is inguinal hernia repairs. Now, when I started my training, inguinal hernia repairs, we did them open in the beginning, and then towards the end of my training, a lot of these repairs were done laparoscopically, and now they're being done laparoscopically and with a robot. So 600,000 inguinal hernia repairs are done every year in this country. In kids, so I do it laparoscopically. I do a laparoscopic high ligation of the hernia sac. In adults, whether it's a direct or an indirect hernia, usually we're gonna be doing that either preperitoneal repair robotically or a extra peritoneal repair robotically, get mesh put in there so we can prevent recurrence of that hernia. Who gets the next spot entering the top five most common operations in the United States? I hate to break it to you, but it's another tie. 600,000 of these done every year, and that is total or partial knee replacement. So orthopedic surgery, again, breaking in to these top surgeries done every year in 
knee replacements, again, a ton of advancements in material science, operative approach, being able to do total versus partial knee replacements, get people back to enjoying their quality of life, back on their feet, pain-free. So approximately 600,000 of these every year in the United States. So knee replacement breaks us in to our top five. So who is number four? Number four breaks into the millions, and these are with our spine colleagues. So both our orthopedic spine surgeon and our neurological spine surgeons perform over 1.3 million instrumented spine operations every year in the United States. There is pretty considerable regional variability from this. I'll put some links in the description below so you can check out how different regions like the Midwest, the Northeast, the West Coast, and the Southeast differ with respect to spine and operations. I think it's some really interesting data. So that takes the number four spot. So who gets number three? So number three goes back to our orthopedic surgery colleagues. So that is arthroscopy. So arthroscopy, when we're taking a look inside joints, they're cleaning them out, getting them more functional. That takes the number three spot. And so how many of those are performed every year? It's in the millions, and we're at about 1.77 million arthroscopic procedures every year in the United States. Now there are two spots left. So who gets the second spot? Well, the second spot goes to our ophthalmology colleagues, and that is cataract surgery. And there are over 2 million cataract operations performed every year in the United States to help those people get their vision back. That leaves us with number one, excisions for skin cancer. So how many excisions for skin cancer are there? Well, there are over 5 million of these performed every year for both melanoma skin cancer as well as non-melanoma skin cancer. Cancers like squamous cell carcinoma or basal cell carcinoma, over 5 million of these every year. So I promised you that I would tell you at the end which one by far seems to cost the most to our healthcare system. And this is purely procedural cost, all right? Cost can get really complicated. But the number one spot for costs goes to spine. So if we take a fairly conservative number of $20,000 for a spine operation and we multiply that by the number of spine procedures done every year, we are over $20 billion. These are the top 13 surgeries done every year in our country. Fairly significant financial impact into our healthcare system. If you think I left something out, definitely leave a comment below. I thought this was interesting. I hope you did too. We're going to do a lot more deep dives into surgical topics and general surgery. That's my hit zone, okay? If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. You can hit me at eric at citizensurgeon.com by email or just leave a comment on this video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you want to share this content and you know somebody that might find it valuable, do that. Anyway, as always, stay safe, study hard. I'll see you next time.